Hi folks, today I'm here, well, we're here to show you the new Factor O2 VAM disc that I've got. This was made for my tour of California. This is a, this is a game changing bike. Like Factor really topped themselves uh, when they painted the cookie edition of the Ostro. That was my most liked and shared Instagram post ever, the gallery when, when this bike was finished. This one, if ever a bike was made to break the internet after that one broke the internet, uh, here we are. So what they wanted here was a bike that was still super light, that was able to, to do my KOMs. The Ostro, of course, that's an aero bike. A little paint grams is totally worth it, adding some grams for the, for the design. But for a climbing bike, for a bike that's capable of the, of the uphill demands that I have, I didn't want a bunch of paint on it. And in fact, it was like, well, let's, let's figure that out. So what they did was the cookie overlay in the logo and then the cookie monster on the head, and then just like a light gloss. So there's no, there's no paint on the whole body. It's just like a little gloss. So it maintains the, the weight with all of the style. They, they just continue to top themselves by, by building my dream bike. Uh, so I wanted to walk through the build today and kind of talk about what we've got going on. Of course, this is my first time on the, the Shimano 12 speed, the, the new, new Durace. Uh, I, got, I got one Grupo, they're still sorting it out, but uh, the Grupos are coming and I will say it was worth the wait. I've got more range. It's more gears. It's, it's just as crisp as you want it to be. The hoods are a better shape. They're a little bit longer. I like the shape more. It's, it's very comfortable in the hands. Um, and then everything else other Shimano is, it works. That's the beauty of Shimano is uh, it's, it's not gonna, you're never gonna get mad at it or yell at it. And, and you forget that you have it, you forget that you're shifting, put no thought into it. So all that's accomplished. I've got the new uh, Dura C36 wheels. So like kind of a mid depth, which should be good for, for most of my climbs. And we've got the, the Kenda Valkyrie tubeless. The rim is wider on this one. So this, is, this fits the, the 28 very nicely. And of course those are gonna be filled with, this is invisible, so I brought the bottle out. Uh, Silka has, there's two invisible things on here. Silka's chain lube is of course on the chain. Uh, it'd be silly if I put that in the tires. This chain lube is the first and only chain lube I've ever used where you can actually feel that it's a smoother ride. Like normally you use a chain lube when like, oh, I keep dropping my chain. Oh, uh, it's not shifting right. It's time to lube it. And that solves that problem. This one, you're like, oh, I, I just got four and a half watts. So this is the, the Silka Synergetic. And they have a few different versions of, of like really high end lube. I promise I can feel it and I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not full of shit. They also have the new tubeless sealant, which is an incredible sealant. Tubeless, if you tried tubeless a few years ago, you might not have enjoyed it. Uh, you might have had a few messes. It's come a long way. It, like it worked then, it works very well now. And I, and I feel like the, the new pinnacle of that is Silka's tubeless sealant. It's actually got little layers of carbon fiber in it. Like when you, when you pour it in, you can see strands of carbon fiber. It really fills a hole. So it'll fill a bigger hole than, than you had before. Um, and it'll fill it with an actual substance that isn't like waiting to harden. So you, you shake it up and actual carbon fiber is in there. There's a way to get more carbon fiber into your bike. So I have the, the O2 disc is over here. And that was the first bike I got from Factor. I got that bike the middle of 2018. And that has been my beater bike since then. It, it still smashes the group ride. It still feels good. Normally, like as a pro, you just get three new bikes every year. I didn't know that bikes could last that long after what I put them through. So the O2 VAM is basically what, what makes it the VAM is they just use a higher end carbon fiber. So it's lighter, it's stiffer, uh, they make it thinner. They kind of clean up the insides. Uh, there's all these little strands stuff. So they, they clean that up. Also what they've done is they've taken some of the aero features from the Ostro, like the integrated cables. So you get a real neat front end, nothing in the way of the Cookie Monster. And that adds some aero components as well. So we've got the, the Durace, uh, of course, the, the power meter, the speed play Wahoo pedals. Um, I'm going with the Wahoo Roam for my tour of California. So I go back and forth between the Bolt. When I'm riding at home, I use the Bolt. On the road, the Roam has a bigger screen. It's good for navigation, good for apps. They both work for all that. It's just a little more if I'm gonna be going somewhere I don't know. Silka also has a new Wahoo mount. Uh, that goes on there. It, it works for obviously Wahoo and all the other ones, um, but it has a removable GoPro mount on the bottom. So that's gonna be super convenient for me when I'm, when I'm filming stuff on the road. Don't have to carry it all in my pocket. Black ink comes stock with, uh, with all the factor bikes. So the seat post and the bars, like a very nice integrated bar. Also it comes with the ceramic speed bearings everywhere. So you're getting sort of an added, that's the thing that you upgrade on other bikes, but all the factor bikes come with ceramic speed bottom bracket and headset bearings. Also Silka, this, this nice bar tape, they got a million colors and that the blue I thought set off real nice. The cages are also Silka, it's a Cookie Monster blue. That's just my term for that color, don't sue me. It'd be fun, I haven't got a cease and desist from Sesame Street, but I feel like that's kind of worth trying to get and then immediately ceasing and desisting and but framing the, the letter. So that's Cookie Monster blue. <laughs> 
And then we have the uh, the Pro Stealth Saddle, Shimano Pro, obviously. I've been a big fan of this saddle. This is not the super light one. I've got the, the carbon rail one on the on the other bike. I'm not getting rid of the rim brake bike yet. You know, you never know when I might need another, another pound or two off. So this bike, ready to go. I could dork out more. I could get lighter wheels. I could put tubulars on there. But as it is right now, it's it's sitting at 16 pounds, which is pretty darn good for, for a brand new disc brake, all that stuff bike, and pretty much everything on there is stock. And of course, we've got the Aura Case saddlebag for the Tour of California. I'll probably put, uh, they've got some frame bags. I'll probably put the front one on there. Yeah, I think that's it. This is This is my new steed. This is my new favorite bike and the coolest bike of all time. Big thanks to Factor for, for setting up. We are gonna have some kind of a deal. We're working out, folks come to my Fondo. Something like if you order a Factor ahead of time, we'll have it built up for you there and a portion will go to the charity. So good folks at Factor and, uh, and really stoked to, to ride my dream bike at, the, uh, at my tour of California coming up. Thanks for watching, see ya.